Lady, go! Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Lace Empress here. How are you guys doing? Welcome back where spirituality is our fashion statement. So today we are going to do just a collective reading from the Divine Feminine to the Divine Masculine. I'm going to do um, sort of an intuitive read. Um, with my deck along with a couple others now this deck is um, from the perspective of the taker so we may get on a divine feminine a little bit we may see what y'all talking about to your divine masculine you know we'll see what comes out here and we're just going to get some messages that you want to give to your divine masculine divine feminine to divine masculine let's go if you're new thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe before you leave. And if you are a continued supporter, thank you so much. Let's see what's cracking. Divine Feminine, what you got to say to your Divine Masculine? I'm not going to do any certain amount of messages. I'm just going to see what comes out. And we'll rock it out from there. Let's get some messages. Divine Feminine to Divine Masculine. We got two right there. Let's get some more. All right. So we got four messages from the Divine Feminine. What you want to say? Ooh, 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 ooh. The Divine Feminine is starting off strong. This is the first card, strongest energy. It says, fuck you and your feelings. Ha, ha. So this Divine Feminine, I feel a mad energy. I don't know why I feel mad. Because I feel like she may have experienced some type of heartbreak or something from the Divine Masculine. And now she's coming across like, um, I don't care about you. I don't care about how you feel. She's she's not in the mood for nonsense. It's almost as if she's um, basically telling the Divine Masculine, like, you can... Um, <laughs> trying to figure out a nice way to say it but she's basically coming across like you know fuck you you i mean you did me dirty and now i'm out here doing me i don't give a fuck about what you got to say about it or who told you anything uh the divine feminine just really doesn't care right now she doing her she she divine feminine doing her okay <laughs> straight up Divine Feminine out here like, I don't care. It says, I want my cake and eat it too. The second message. Man, wife, boyfriend, women, husband, girlfriend. It say, cake cake made easy, baby. The Divine Feminine, she wilding. She out here like, look, I am going to do me. I don't care what you got to say, Divine Masculine. It's kind of coming across like, she took the breakup hard or there was some information found out that she that made her go into this energy of this fuck you energy this is coming across really strong fuck you energy like she out here just kicking it let's clarify these two. Oh, oh. so Doing me. Like she came up on some money since she done moved around from you, Divine Masculine. The D Divine Feminine got some money going. They got some money. Who got some money? The Divine Feminine got some money cracking. They got some sudden wealth coming into their life. So they don't care how you feel because they out enjoying their sudden wealth. Whew. Jesus. Okay, I'm already like my energy is like if I feel like anxiety. I think I'm feeling a divine masculine's um energy from them hearing this because I'm kind of sitting like the same way they would hear it. I'm kind of taking it all in because I didn't expect this to be so like right in your face. But hey, that's what happens when you use <laughs> when you use my deck. It's like right to the point. Woo, okay. Divine feminine, official person where I want my cake and eat it too. So they want to be the boss. The divine feminine said they the boss. They the official person. I want my cake and eat it too. And that's what they that's what they doing. The whoever they want, 
a man, a woman, boy, girl, whoever, not a boy or girl, let's not go that far. A man or a woman, whoever they want, they get. This is in any way, this is coming across intimate, sexual, but they the boss, they the boss woman, man, okay? The divine feminine is the boss woman. She taking what she want out here in these streets. She is not asking anybody anything. She not here to ask you nothing. Okay, Divine Masculine. She This this uh, Divine Feminine is wilding out a little bit. It says, I miss you, but I am not good for you. Mm. So they do miss you, Divine Masculine, but they want to have fun. They want to kick it. They want to turn up. I kind of feel like even though you guys may be in separation, because I feel like you guys are separated, even though you guys are in separation, even though you guys are in separation, I kind of feel as if this person know, you know, that they want to be with you, but not right now. Because they too busy having fun. And I think this is kind of like a revenge read. Because I feel like this divine feminine is doing things out of revenge. Like they probably wouldn't normally act like this. But I feel like they're doing this out of revenge because of something that may have happened in their relationship. That divine masculine may have... And it could be cheating or you could have not gave them what they wanted or needed at the time. And you kind of forced their hand to walk away. So now the divine feminine is out here wilding, kicking it and just having a good time. And and maybe they getting money. The divine feminine then came up on some money. They getting some money. I mean, they could have run a lot of reasons they've been away from you. I mean, some type of sudden wealth that actually put them ahead of the game. They could have um, won the lottery. They could have hit at the boat. Or they could have met another person that got money, which is this official person that's giving them money. So they just enjoying this official person that's giving them money or giving them whatever they want, like giving them what you couldn't give them as far as monetary is concerned. They could have met a rich person that's actually investing in them. They don't love this person like they love you, Divine Masculine, but they're enjoying the benefit of having this person around. Let's clarify this card. Whew. Yeah, so this family room with I miss you. See, I miss you with the main male at the bottom of the deck. The main male is you, Divine. Divine Masculine. So, I miss you, but I am not good for you. Um, With Family Room. So, they are telling you in secret. Because this card is saying, the Family Room is where all the secrets are held. Where all the truths come out. So, this is definitely a truth that they want to reveal to you. That they miss you. They care for you. But... The energy that the Divine Feminine is in right now is basically saying, uh, she basically saying that I'm not good for you right now. Like, they they far gone. Like, they went all the way left with the way they're handling this relationship because of the separation from the Divine Masculine. Mm. Okay. This is, <laughs> this is really, uh... This really just uh, went all the way. So we got I'm addicted to sex with concern. So the divine feminine is admitting that she is addicted to sex. And then we have concern here. And the concern is coming across because even she's concerned for herself because she has no control right now. She's she's not. She's not giving any control element to what she's doing out here in these streets. She needs to calm down. Yes, I said streets. I'm just being silly. But she need to she needs to calm down. Because she got all this money, which is turning her into which is turning her into something that she's not. So and then, you know, of course it it kind of comes across like it could be some form of prostitution here, even though it may be legal prostitution because she's she is um an adult, but it's coming across like I'm addicted to sex and she's getting sex for money because you have sudden wealth here with I'm addicted to sex and it's a concern. So with that being said, it's coming across like this person may be doing sexual favors for money and i don't mean like low grade prostitution i mean like high grade because this is wealth the wealth means 
a lot of money. This is not some $100, $200 type of person. This is her marrying. This is the defined feminine. And I keep, I said married. And maybe this, maybe you, maybe your def, defined feminine is married to a rich, wealthy person. This is the defined divine feminine marrying marrying into a family of wealth probably if it's not um or if it's not the um their mate probably paid them for marriage because their the the divine feminine is very attractive wow this is a lot okay this is a lot <laughs> I don't know what's going on with the divine feminine to for this group of people. But this divine divine feminine has a lot going on. Like they want their cake and eat it too. And they possibly could even be cheating on their current spouse or partner because they don't want to be tied down. They just want to have fun. Like just being addicted to addicted to sex is what they want. And the money is an added bonus. The money is an added bonus for the divine feminine. The money is an added bonus. So, whoo, this divine feminine is ready. She ready. She is, this divine feminine is very, I mean, very forward with what they want and how they want it and when they want it. But they do miss the divine masculine. But right now, they're having fun doing what they doing yeah they're having fun doing what they doing okay so with this divine masculine these are the advice cards for from the for the divine masculine that's dealing with this divine feminine okay it's saying that you need to have patience with this divine feminine if you want this person back because you will get some sort of success out of this connection once this divine feminine gets this this uh turn up out of her energy but you will definitely have to have some patience when dealing with this person you you will get some success and when this person returns to you because they say i miss you but i'm not good for you once they decide to return then you know it would be a wish granted like this is like the nine of cups in the tarot so it would be like a wish granted for you but you have to uh you definitely have to give it some time with this person because they are they just out doing them they're not trying to hear nothing nobody else has to say but they will have some clarity because you got the crown chakra with i'm addicted to sex and concern so the divine feminine is aware that what they're doing is not right and, and not just not right for them is it's not right overall as as um their self-value and their self-worth so they're gonna have to work on that because it's just it's not going to serve them any purpose. It's just degrading them. It's, it's showing their lack of confidence and their lack of self-worth. It's showing everything that they have not healed from, from being in their previous relationships. So the divine feminine has some work to do. Like they are, they're coming across very emotionalist. Like they don't have any emotion towards relationships like they're using relationship for the benefit of for the benefit of self to gain money and wealth and to fulfill sexual needs so they're using it for it almost seems like entertainment like to fulfill their their life with entertainment versus the divine feminine working on self but divine masculine, you're going to have to have some patience with this person because you get all, if you look at all these advice cards, they're all excellent. And this is calling, calling you to have some patience with this person because initially this person is definitely a good person, but you need to have some patience with them because you will, this will turn out to be successful. I know it doesn't sound like it because you're like, well, how much patience do I need to have? I don't know. That's divine timing. That's in God's hand. Um, <clears throat> I didn't say don't date because I've, I've said in previous videos, I don't really, um, 
give advice for people to wait on the person and just stand still. Patience and waiting is two different things. You can have patience with someone while still living your life because you can love somebody from a distance, right? So the patience here that I'm seeing is you understanding that you cannot be with this person right now. And if it's divine timing, if it's meant for you guys to cross paths again, you will. In the time that it's meant. Now this is looking like with your patience and you growing as a person and you stand on your right path. Your divine feminine will get back on that path. Because this is showing that there will be triumph and success over this relationship. You will have some, um, some wonderful times together. Look at all this water right here. This is emotional fulfillment. Like a lot of love emotions and fulfillment and love and growing in this situation so this is a lot of love that's going to be with your divine feminine if you're just going to have to have some time because they will soon get clarity about their relationship but i don't think that they've made it here yet so divine masculine you tell me you tell me baby because these are messages from your divine feminine they told you was in their mind and heart space at this current moment their energy is to have fun to get this money they're getting the money they definitely getting some money from somebody or they're gaining a lot of money i don't see a work energy here i feel like they have met they met a boss man or a person that's paying them for their time. So somebody's paying this person for their time and they're just, they're just eating it up right now. So, but it's, it's probably going to be short lived. All right. So thank you all for watching. Thank you for receiving the message from the divine feminine to the divine masculine. And until next time, let intuition be your guide.